Welcome to the Seabus Product Manager. In this video, we will discuss how to install and license your plugin you just bought. The first step you should do in the Seabus Product Manager is go to Licensing. Choose the little drop down in the menu and go to Activate Serial Numbers. Add your serial number by just copying the serial number you have either received by your dealer or from our online store. You can copy and paste the number. Please make sure you uh, click into the first character there. And then as soon as the serial number is correct, you will see this little check symbol and then you can continue. The most important part is you need to have uh, the account information filled in with your email address and password you used on our web server. Once you have done this and made sure it's the correct information, you go to the next step. Then you can fill in your information address and then you have several options. You can create an online request that will send you the license instantly from our license server. You can create a request file that might be necessary if you can't connect to our license server or you can register only. That would be the step you need to do when you got your license from a dealer. So the first thing is you have to register your serial number. After you've done this, you can go through again and just create the online request. And that will also be necessary to actually download the full installation of your product. Once your license is available and up and running, you can continue to download your actual product. But before you can do that, make sure you go to settings, user information. Here again, make sure you use the exact login information you have used to create an account on our web server and create the purchase. Use the test login function to make sure the information is correct. In the host products, make also sure that everything is to automatically configure. Also check if the license server is up and running. The next step would be to install your plugin. This is done by just pressing the updates button. Based on your user login information, the system will now present you with all the products you own. You can choose between various 3D's Max versions. We have 2013, 32-bit, 64-bit, 2014 and 2015. Then you would just continue by pressing the update button. The dialog that comes up wants you to confirm that this is actually the real 3D Studio Max installation folder and then you just confirm it and the download will begin. There will be uh, possibly multiple downloads depending on the products you have. Thinking Products, for example, has a separate manual download. It's a separate package that's downloaded and needs to be installed. We're using the Adobe Air technology for the manual, so the manual can update itself as well. In this case, I already have the manual installed, so I can cancel out of this dialog. However, you would just go ahead and install the manual. After this is done, the installation is complete, you can OK out and on the left hand side you will see the product that has just been installed. In the center you will see the version number and on the right hand side you will see a description of what was installed and you can use the uninstall, uninstall this product button to remove the product from your PC. Thank you for watching this video, we hope you enjoy your plugin and please check out our other videos as well.